Hey, thanks for joining me as we talk homeschool organization. For me in particular, my homeschool cart. You can see it hanging out there in the corner. That is where it belongs when I am not using it. During the day when we use it, we roll it out to our kitchen table, do our homeschool, and then roll it back in here in the office next to my homeschool shelf. Uh, before I turn the camera around and get going, I do want to mention that this video is part of a collaboration of other homeschool moms. Uh, not just homeschool carts, but any homeschool organization methods, tips, tricks, resources that they have found to keep their homeschool neat and tidy and clean and functional. So check out the link in the playlist description in the description below um, just to see other moms' ideas and resources. Also, I did not, in preparation for this video, organize my homeschool cart. This is how it looks. This is how it looks after half a year and how it stays looking. Um, I have not done anything to it since we finished our homeschool this morning. So this is a normal look inside. Um, without further ado, then let me turn the camera on and kind of show you through how I organize. So here we have the homeschool cart. You can see, um, and I kind of have it divided, you know, in the top, middle, and bottom shelves. The top is obviously the things I want to access the most easily most quickly the things I use the most often you can see it's kind of homeschool curriculum pens and pencils that kind of thing the middle shelf is more of my manipulatives flashcards games some teacher materials and then the bottom is more of our morning time and books that go along with the curriculum resources so looking in a little bit closer you can see how I kind of had it divided I have on one side I have my four-year-old preschooler who's kind of doing preschool slash kindergarten and then on the other side I have my three-year-old preschooler who's doing a lot less and you can see I have these magazine holders and these are amazing these keep books straight especially things that are um, not hardback and tend to be more floppy um, they keep the books nice and good quality I don't think they're getting beat up by things I keep putting in and out I feel like it um, helps my books last longer in good condition and it just keeps them so tidy I love these maybe my number one uh, recommendation for these homeschool carts and you'll notice this cart in particular is quite wide a lot of homeschool carts you see really only go from here to here and only really hold four of those magazine holders well this holds six and I love that about this so you can see I have in here I have just her teacher's manuals that go along with her work and a few additional book resources that go with her um, courses for her workbooks, we don't put the workbooks here. I tear the pages out or um, get the PDF and print them and just put a week's worth of workbook pages in her daily binder. And that really minimizes the amount of books I have to have up here. Um, so all of her work for the entire week is in this little binder. And then on this side, I have my uh, teacher planner and just additional resources or materials that I kind of just reference for myself. And then on the other side, like I said, I have my um, three-year-old preschooler. This is her daily binder for worksheets. We have one of these dry erase pockets that I can use um, and then because she has a lot less material than my four-year-old, she, this, uh, my three-year-old has just very minimal. Uh, I also have a few books that we use for like our poetry tea time or our nature journals in here with her stuff as well, because it just gives me a little bit more room. So looking a little bit closer into the middle here, we have pens and pencils. This little caddy has, you know, glue, scissors. I use this for her dry erase, just the basic resources. And I can take this out and this, set this in the middle of the table for them to use. I have our pencil sharpener. Um, these go along with her reading program. They're just some high frequency word cards that we use. These are some reading tiles that go with her, um, or some letter tiles that go with her reading program, some magnetic letter tiles. And then these are some number cards that go with her math program, as well as her hundreds chart. And then in the back here, I have some things that are just too tall really to go on any of the other shelves. We have um, just some puzzles that my uh, preschooler uses. And we have my handy dandy little um, paper cutter. Sorry. And I wouldn't generally put this on the top shelf, but I use it maybe every other day with this reading program because we have all these little cards that we cut out. So I definitely keep it on the top shelf nice and accessible. So you can see the middle shelf um, in the back. I have my tall items again. I love the tall items in the back. It allows me to see everything all at once. Um, we have some math games that are just reinforcement math games So race to planet X and some swamp. I have some tactile hands on items to give my three year old when I need to. We have all my flashcards and I have a lot of flashcards here. I do not use all of these all the time, but I like having them accessible and easy to grab when I need them. These are the flashcards that I am currently using with my children. Um, so the ones that are, I have both of my children in the same box and I just have them divided up. And then this is my math kit and I can show you inside here what I have inside of it. Inside this math kit, to give you a better angle, you can see we have clocks, we have some of these building 10 counters, we have just some basic counters, um, we have pennies, dimes, nickels, learning about those things. I have a little um, bell because sometimes we play she's teacher and when I make a mistake she corrects me and she loves that. We have these um, just basic game um, pieces and then I have all of her um, shape tiles 
I'm drawing a blank on what they're called, but um, the wooden little shape things that we do, her ge like geography type things in her map. And then I have just some basic teacher resources, tape, index cards, um, my highlighter, dry erase marker, caddy. I have my erasable pens for planning. I have some rulers, stickers, you name it, just random items that I use. But so I would say teacher resource basket for lack of a better word. And then here in the bottom uh, is really simple. I have on this side, my morning basket or morning devotion time with my children. Um, and if you're interested to see what I have in this stack, please uh, check out the link below. Cause I'll link what we do for our morning time. And then on the side, I have number books, alphabet books, just any books that I'm using occasionally along with the materials that I'm doing with my children. So my um, three-year-old's alphabet program, we read ABC books or books that work on teaching the ABCs. And so any additional curricular resources. And so that is really what it looks like. That's how it keeps normally, keeps very easy. Um, and I know as my children change grades and as I have another child joining, that we will have a lot more books, so we'll have less manipulatives. I'll have to rearrange things slightly, but I really foresee this cart you working for us for a very long time. So that is a look inside my homeschool cart. Hopefully that's helpful, maybe gives you some ideas. Um, I would love to know if you have tips, tricks, resources, any items that you use to keep your homeschool cart really organized and functioning well, please comment below if you do. Also, I'm going to be having a video that kind of goes along with this one, talking about the way, why we don't have a homeschool room and how we function without one just using our cart. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on that. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you again.